Nebuchadnezzar was the king of Babylon. One day, Nebuchadnezzar made a tall gold statue. His official made an announcement for all the people of Babylon. When you hear music, you must fall down and worship this statue. Anyone who does not obey this rule will be thrown into a fiery furnace. So when the people heard music, they fell down and worshiped the gold statue like the king commanded. But not everyone bowed down and worshiped the statue. Three friends from Judah, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, refused to bow down to a statue. Some men complained to King Nebuchadnezzar. You made a rule for all the people, they reminded the king. But some of the men from Judah do not bow down and worship your statue. This news made King Nebuchadnezzar angry. He called for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Is it true that you do not serve my gods or worship the gold statue? He asked. If you do not bow down when you hear the music, I will throw you into a fiery furnace. Then what god could rescue you from my power? The three friends answered, King, the god we serve is able to rescue us from the fiery furnace. He can save us from you. But even if God chooses not to rescue us, we will not serve your gods. We will not bow down and worship the gold statue. King Nebuchadnezzar was even angrier. He made the fire even hotter and told some of his soldiers to tie up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Then the soldiers threw the friends into the fiery furnace. Suddenly, King Nebuchadnezzar jumped up. Didn't we tie up three men and throw them into the fire? Look, the king shouted. <gasps> I see four men walking around in the fire. They aren't tied up, and the fourth man looks like a son of the gods. Nebuchadnezzar quickly went to the door of the furnace. He called out, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, servants of the Most High God, come here. So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came out of the fire. They had not been burnt by the fire at all. Their clothes did not even smell like smoke. <gasps> Nebuchadnezzar praised God. The God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego sent an angel and rescued his servants. King Nebuchadnezzar made a new law for all the people. Anyone who says anything against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego's God will be punished. No other God can save people like this. Then the king gave Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego important jobs in his kingdom. God was with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the fire. Only he could rescue them. God rescues us too through his son, Jesus. Only Jesus can save us from our sin. Jesus' sacrifice on the cross provided the way for us to be rescued from sin and have eternal life. <laughs>